Use my affiliate link to support the channel down in the description. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mad Games GX here, and we're going to be going over all the ways that you can one card gimmick lock because, you know, with. Um, people coming into our community and just showing more combos, we've really just gotten to a place where there are more one-card gimmick locks than just Nadir at this point. There's a Branded Fusion one-card gimmick lock, and there's also just an Aluber one-card gimmick lock. And then, of course, there is the one-card gimmick lock with um, get with Nadir Servant and Branded Fusion. So I will um, post that down below, or I will also include that uh, at the end of this video. However, uh, I want to show off the two new one-card gimmick locks so you guys can get in all your Sanctifier goodness while you can. The card's broken. And and might get banned next ban list so uh with that being said leave uh, a like down below comment and let me know what you guys thought of the video leave a dislike if you don't enjoy the video but leave 100 likes if you guys want to see an updated branded combo guide for the new format so with that being said let's get right into it so this is going to be the main deck i'm going to be using for these combos guys so you guys know um the only the first two combos you need to have branded sword for in the main deck however the last two uh you'll you only need to have branded fusion in the deck plus two grand goyle you need two grand goyle for most of these combos that's a huge thing all right here we have the one card luber combo sent in by raul uh Shout out to Raul Padroso, a high-rated uh, DB player on who basically mains Branded. Uh, he's been my cooking partner. We're going to be releasing a combo spreadsheet uh, tutorial combo video where you guys can actually hit him up for the spreadsheet too very soon. So make sure to leave a like so you guys can see that. Um, but we're going to show off right now the one-card gimmick lock with just a Luber. Uh, this lock also plays under over Nib. So uh, we go a Luber effect, sending the King the Fallen Earth. Or sorry the brand fusion and we will then send the cartesia and the fallen of albaz he's just skipping a few steps um so i uh, just pretend there's a branded fusion here basically and then we'll go albion banishing the cartesia and then the aluber and this time we will get the grand guignol which is not something that you typically make off of albion but you'll see why and then we can go grand guignol effect to send the bestial saranir and then bestial saranir will send branded sword which is a tech card and branded i've been using they can get back a monster that mentions fallen of albaz from your banish when it's in the graveyard quick effect so you obviously use that and get back the cartesia which you are now able to special summon since you have an albaz in the graveyard uh and then you can go to cartesia effect to make a stapelia um at which point they are going to nibiru uh, your opponent's going to Nibiru, so then we see the Nibiru come down, uh, killing the Cartesia, but we do have the Grand Guignol in the graveyard. Grand Guignol then can go into Quem. Quem effect will then, uh, send the Shrouded Dragon, uh, Shrouded Dragon, will, which will just be fine, because then we can Cartesia to hand, and then we can get Albion to get the Branded in red, um, and then we can pass to our opponent. We go Branded red in the main phase, getting the Shrouded Dragon, and then we can obviously just make the, uh, Grand Goyle. Then we can go chain link one grand goyle chain link two cartesia uh cartesia is gonna make the fallen of albaz and then the grand goyle is gonna make the gimmick puppet and then we can go fallen of albaz effect to make the albion with the nibiru and then albion is going to make um sanctifier so uh so that's through nibiru let me show you without nibiru so this is the version without Nibiru. We're gonna go into Aluber, into Branded Fusion. Brand Fusion is going to send the Cartesia and then the Albaz, um, making the Albion. Albion is going to once again make the Grand Goyle, uh, banishing the Cartesia and the Aluber. The Grand Goyle is then going to send a Saranir. Saranir is going to get the sword once again uh, to get that Cartesia. Cartesia is going to be really good here uh, because we do have the Albaz once again in the graveyard. We can go Cartesia effect to make the Spellia here. Uh, once again, because that just gives us one more interruption for free, and then in the end phase we can go Albion Effect, um, getting the Brandon in red, and then we obviously still have the Cartesia on board, which can then make a second Grand Goyle, which is why two Grand Goyle is very important for gimmick locking. You see a lot of people on that. You see then the Grand Goyle send the Puppet, and then you can go Brand Red, banishing the Albaz and the Grand Goyle for the Albion. So that's a true one card gimmick lock with Branded Fusion. Very broken, because then Brand, uh, Albion gets back the Stapelia, and then the uh, Nightmare. Very, very, very good. So here is another version of the one card gimmick lock. You just go um, Brand Fusion here. You send the Lubelion, this time getting the Tragedy plus the Albaz. So you can end up going into Lubelion one discard. You're going to need one discard fodder, obviously, for this combo too. So it's not 
I guess, truly a one card, but it is mostly a one card lock. Music, you can you just get any discard fodder, and then we can then go. Oh shit. All right, so here is another version of the one card gimmick lock shout, and I fall for this one. We can then go uh, go into branded fusion. We can. So here's another version of the one card gimmick lock shout, and I fall for this one. We can go uh, brand fusion into Lubellion, into um, tragedy, into the Albaz that. And then pitch uh, one of our random discard fodders, and then we can go tragedy effect to search out a, a Luber so that we can now normal summon, and then we can make the um, Mirror Jade very obviously here. And this combo is pretty cool because it'll show how good Mirror Jade is in terms of a combo piece. Uh, with Quem, we will then go a Luber effect, and then a Luber effect will then get us um, branded opening, and then branded opening will be able to chain, and uh, we'll get the Quem, and then Quem will then get um, Cartesia into the graveyard. Now what you can do is go Mirror Jade Effect, sending um, Albion, and then you can banish. Probably the Aluber here doesn't really matter, because then you, what's more important you, is you're able to trigger the Quem, because the card left the extra deck from the Mirror Jade, and then you can go Mirror Jade, or you can go Cartesia Effect with her and the Mirror Jade making the Grand Goyle, and then Grand Goyle can then make a, um, at this point, I mean... What you really want to do is probably send... And then you want to send the Titanoclad so you can get the other piece to your puzzle. And then you're going to end your turn, go to the end phase. Then you are going to get the Titanclad effect to get Albaz into, um, on the field. Doesn't really matter, it could go to the hand too. Then you can go Albion effect to go, um, to go into Branded Red into the graveyard. Oh, sorry. Uh, to set Brandon Red, since you do have that tragedy in the grave. And then you have to keep the Cartesia in the graveyard, because what you're going to be able to do next turn is go Brandon Red, targeting the tragedy, and then you are going to make a Sanctifier out of the Albaz and the Greg Wignall, and then you can go Quem Effect, summoning out the Cartesia, and then you can go into the main phase, wait for your opponent to do a single action, and then you can go Cartesia to make the second Wignall to send the Gimmick Puppet. So this is another way to play around Gimmick Puppet without Branded Sword or to one card gimmick lock with branded with the branded fusion without branded sword so that so the version we just showed you guys was were combos with branded sword um to play through gimmick or to one card gimmick lock with brand fusion this is a one card gimmick lock without branded sword in the main deck and now we're going to take a trip back down memory lane for the last two gimmick locks where you can use a Nadir Servant in order to one card gimmick lock. I just think that Nadir Servant isn't really that, it's still a great card right now. I just think that right now with a lot of Brandon Voiceless in the meta, there's a lot of reason not to run a Maximus Nadir package. Um, you still see me running in the side deck, however, so I think it still has a lot of value to, for these combos, so check them out. And then make sure to leave a like, guys, and thanks for watching the video. I have channel memberships now. This is the best way that you can support the channel and get some awesome perks. You get access to the hidden Discord group chat where you get to ask me any questions about your decks. You get early deck lists, some early videos even, and exclusive emotes to use in the YouTube chat. And you get to duel me once a month. The best part is you get to support amazing branded and Yu-Gi-Oh content going forward. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for the memberships down below. Thanks for watching the video.